is the most realistic, but at the same time, best target for the Chicago Bears for the offensive line in free agency. Let's talk about it. What is going on, y'all? Fast Four Stall back at it with another video talking. Of course, my NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you are a Bears fan, please do make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms and hit the bell icon, folks, so you guys have the notifications turned on for every time I post a video because I do so very often. All right, so let's talk about this. All right, so there's an article uh, that came out by Matt Bowen of ESPN, who basically was highlighting an offensive lineman that he thought was the best fit for the Chicago Bears. And I thought it was interesting to talk about this because a lot of the names that have been thrown out in free agency, this is not just with the offensive line, but this is with other positions as well, I feel like are unrealistic. What do I mean by that? My own preference for the guy that I thought was the number one target for me in free agency and it could still happen, but most likely it's not going to, is Orlando Brown, offensive lineman for the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, all its expectations and indications are that he is going to get franchise tagged, and so that's why I'm saying, okay, probably not realistic anymore. Same thing with a defensive lineman in Deron Payne. A lot of Bears fans, including myself, want him as well. He'd be a massive upgrade, but we're reading reports that he is more than likely going to get franchise tagged okay so when we talk about actual players that will hit the market and the best of that from an offensive lineman perspective who is it well Matt Bowen of ESPN says it's right tackle for the 49ers Mike McGlinchey so let's talk about Mike McGlinchey folks he is six foot eight 310 pounds he's 28 years old which is good because he is not you know on the wrong side of 30 still relatively young here and I know that Mike McGlinchey is a bit of a polarizing player in the sense of he's not that great of a pass protector, at least he wasn't last season, okay? He's better against the run. And so you want a guy who's better against the pass, right, when you've got your quarterback in Justin Fields and you want to make sure that he stays upright the entire season. Well, Mike McGlinchey didn't show you glimpses of that last year. He was not very good. But let's dig a little deeper and find out the reason why. Mike McGlinchey was coming off a torn quad, okay? And so it took him a little bit of time to get in the swing of things. And then from weeks 10 to the 17, all right, when he finally hit a stride, he didn't allow a single sack. So I don't think McGlinchey's as bad of a pass protector as we think, all right? The numbers show that he, again, didn't allow a single sack from weeks 10 through 17. I think he just needed to get healthy. And even still, with how we consider him to not be maybe great at pass protection, which I don't think that's true. I think he's a solid pass protector. Maybe he's not elite. It is still a massive upgrade over what we had at the right tackle spot. I mean, folks, we're talking about Riley Reef, Larry Borum, guys like that. Like, you put McGlinchey at that right tackle spot, and I got to be honest, you have that right tackle spot figured out. I don't think you'll have to worry about it too much. It's an upgrade. It's an upgrade. All right, so to me, I would be very happy with Mike McGlinchey uh, signing him in free agency because it addresses a clear need on the offensive line. It's not like one of the positions on the line where you feel like you have a good or decent player, a promising player like a Braxton Jones or maybe a Tevin Jenkins. No, it's a clear weak spot. You need an upgrade. McGlinchey's an upgrade, and he's going to be healthy. Get him a contract, and you know, let's see what he you know is looking for. Uh, and we have all of the cap space in the world. So go ahead and try to, you know, get the best offer out there for the team and for McGlinchey. And ultimately, folks, you know, I'm going to come out with another video talking about a lot of the other guys in free agency on the offensive line that are available. Um, you know, guys like, you know, Caleb McGarry, guys like Juwan Taylor, uh, guys like Ethan Posich. Like, got, there's other guys. But to me, McGlinchey, the most polished, the most ready, the most immediate help we can get at the offensive line at a position of weakness to me is McGlinchey. Matt Bowen, obviously of ESPN agrees as well. I agree with him. What do you guys say? Do you like Mike McGlinchey for the right price? And again, we will have to overpay because you always do in free agency, but you got plenty of money to do that. But for the right price, would you want Mike McGlinchey? I think I would. Again, not great in terms of pass. Uh, protection but we know there's a reason for that 
and I think he's going to be healthy, and I think he's going to be ready to contribute. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. As always, thank you.